Hello and welcome to this series of tutorials for Castine. I'm Panthavma, the creator of the project. So what is Castine? Castine is a framework for Godot Engine, which means a collection of tools, which allows you to make fighting games, or maybe even action games, if you extend it a bit. And it's under a free and open source license, which means you can get it well for free. But that also means that you can also keep the code under the MPL license, which you should look it up uh, more specifically. But to simplify, it means that You'd only have to specify that you used Castine in your project, and if you do modify it, you do want to, to republish those changes later on. So, uh, what are the advantages of using Castine compared to other engines? So, it's focused on two uh, specific uh, salient points. One of them is efficiency, which means, uh, which is how fast you can actually make use of the engine, and that's who. Uh, that goes through a few elements, like for instance CASP, which is a Castine script, and is the, a language created especially for Castine, that allows you to make uh, fighting game moves very easily, and that will also, thanks to a few more technical points, also work online in rollback directly. And you can edit it through the editor, which is uh, quite advanced, uh, allows you to edit the characters well efficiently, and with the use of additional tools inside of it. And you also have the skeletons, which is a which is more specific feature. But this one allows you to create your characters more gradually, uh, and by that I mean you can do put them, you can build them from several files, which means that you can actually put all your genre, your system mechanics, for instance meter, all of that. Instead of having to record them for every character, you can put it into your skeleton file and apply them to every character in the game. And then you have also the uh, big focus on flexibility, which uh, goes through what uh, mainly through the modules, which means that we have modules for uh, instance for graphics, physics, you can switch one for the other. And these modules actually do provide the functions you will use in CASP. And that means that if you switch up some modules, for instance, instead of using the 2D module, you use a 3D module uh, for physics, you can go and make a 3D fighting game pretty easily. And on top of that, we also have some support for genre-specific mechanics and presets. Uh, it's also very extensible, which means you can create your own modules to go further with it. And you can also use it as a sub-module for another project. For instance, if you make uh, another game in Godot, and you, want, you are able to, uh, to outsource the combat part to Castine by calling it as a module. So for who is Castine meant? So the main, the main target demographic is experts. It's a software I made for me first in order to be able to create games efficiently. And so that means a lot of the choices are made with the idea that the person in front of it does know what they're doing and is very familiar with the engine, which allows you to unlock all of its flexibility and efficiency. And on top of that, a lot of the tools are, uh, are thought of with collaboration in mind. So who is going to do what, etc. So you can, so that can scale up a bit more easily for teams. But a lot of people that are actually going to be interested in an engine that does that are beginners. And uh, thanks to some surveys we did uh, earlier, we also know that beginners do find the engine pretty easy to use. Uh, because, uh, funnily enough, a lot of the choices made for experts for efficiency also make it easy because you don't need to learn as much before starting out. Uh, and you also have a lot of default options and uh, default behaviors of that, mechanics, etc. And you also have in engine tutorials to allow you to learn the engine itself from within. And you can, uh, but to go from one to the other, it's also thought of, you have a more gradual learning curve in uh, how you can, uh, which parts can be accessible or not at your different skill levels. And there is a big uh, focus in the UX on discoverability, so you can discover new functionalities if you know where to look. And that's, uh, and that way you can gradually level up until you are at the expert level. So if that's interest you, so how can we learn this uh, engine? So we have these videos, which are only going to show you some basics, some of the logic and all that, and some steps that are done outside of the editor proper. But what you want to use most are the in-engine tutorials. There's a, a lot of them, and they are more feature-focused, like how to make uh, low attacks or overhead ones, like that. 
and they are more up to date. They actually do uh, do follow the engine development, whereas these videos are a bit static. So don't forget to comment if there's anything that's not accurate anymore, so people can actually refer to them still. And if you want to go further, you have the documentation, which you can access in engine or on the web, on the website, your, the link will be in the description. This allows you to go further and actually know all of the features of the engine and how they work. And you also have the Discord, which is where the community is. And you have also help channels of that. You can share your work. That's, uh, that's very nice. So I recommend you also join it. So yeah. So the rest of these tutorials will continue on some, uh, some basics, as I said. Uh, so I wish you good luck with your, your journey. And uh, see you next time. Bye.